So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up a PA system with a subwoofer in five minutes. We're also gonna talk about some of the features and benefits of having different cables and connections and some of the options you may wanna have. We're gonna cover all of that in today's video. So to cover what we actually have physically here, and it doesn't have to be the same as what you have at home or wherever you're at right now. Well, we've got our two Harbinger V2310s. These are 10 inch actual powered speakers. We also have an S12. Again, a Harbinger subwoofer, which is pretty darn awesome, I must say as well. And we have a complete Harbinger mixer package here. This is their brand new LX12. Now to make this all work, we're gonna also need a couple of extra things. We're gonna need four XLR cables, which we have, but we're also gonna talk about some options there as well. We also have ourselves a microphone, because what would a PA system be without a microphone? So we have a Sterling P30. And to look extremely professional when we're all done, we're gonna be able to have ourselves a set of Sterling headphones, which are the S452s, which are really awesome. And when you wear these headphones, you just look like you know what you're doing. Let's get to it. So the very first thing, once you actually have everything in place, before you plug in all the power cords, is make sure everything is turned off. We don't wanna have anything on at this point, we just wanna make sure everything's turned off, and we do. Once everything's turned off and you've confirmed that, then you can plug everything in and make sure you're all set, ready to go. So once you have the actual power cords all in place, now you're gonna be able to start making connections. Now, of course, your speakers are gonna be in one place, your subwoofer's gonna be another, and of course, you're gonna be starting off at your mixer. Always start at your mixer, work your way out to your actual product on the floor. Why am I going to the subwoofer first? Today is because I wanna actually take advantage of the built-in crossover in this particular speaker, but also it allows me to have a little bit better cable management. Now, I'm very fortunate, I do have a lot of XLR cables, and this entire connection is just gonna require XLR cables. We're gonna go from the main out here into the main in on the back of the subwoofer, and then we're gonna go from the output of the subwoofer to our left and right main speakers. Pretty simple, but what if your speakers or your setup are different? Now, even though this is all set up for XLR, I could easily use other cables. So there are three other types of cables that you could use to complete your setup. One can be using an actual quarter inch to quarter inch bounce or unbalance. If you're under 25 feet, it doesn't bother me if you're using unbalanced cables. A lot of people have them and that's fine. If that's what your mixing board and your speakers call for, you're good. So the two other cables that you can use can be quarter inch to XLR male, depending on if your mixing board has XLR outputs or not. This might be the way you're gonna to wanna to go if all you have are quarter inch. And the other cable is very popular cable. These are mic cables. So we've got ourselves an XLR female and we've got ourselves a quarter inch male. I can use this all the time on setups like this because all I need to do is take the actual XLR connection, plug that in to my main out, and then I can plug in my quarter inch into the back of my subwoofer or into my main speaker as part of my input. That'll work too. So here we go. We're going to start with our XLR connections. We're gonna connect our actual mixer to our subwoofer and that we're gonna be doing with some XLR cables. This happened to be 25 feet. Whatever you have and what's appropriate, you'll be fine with. Remember, this is also a good time. If you don't have enough cables after doing all of this, you might decide you wanna go down to Guitar Center. You might wanna go on the link down below and get yourself a couple extra cables. So what I've done now is I've gone from my main, this is my left, main out, and I've got here my left in, so I'm gonna go grab that, put that in the left channel. So now I have one cable set up. So now we're gonna hook up the right side, and again, we've got ourselves a nice XLR cable. And we're going to plug in to the actual mixing board. Now this is a nice mixing board because the actual connections, I don't know if you noticed that or not, are facing opposite to each other, so the connectors don't get in the way. I can easily put that in and out, just like that. And now I'm gonna be able to plug this right into the back of the subwoofer. Again, input number two, there we go. So the easiest way to let YouTube know that you like this video is by hitting that like button. It also lets other people know that this video is not so bad to watch and maybe they might wanna watch it too. So now we're gonna be plugging the subwoofer into our main speakers. Now there's lots of options on the back of the main speaker, but we only need one, we just, need channel one in this case. So again, we're gonna go from our subwoofer, our main out, we're gonna plug that in right here. And then our next one is gonna go right to the back of input number one on the left. We're gonna repeat the same thing on the right now. And again, the right side, we're gonna take the output of the subwoofer, again, on the right, and we're gonna plug that right into channel one right back there. So in this video, we are using an actual Sterling P30. It's a dynamic, microphone, but it actually has a power injector built into it. So this is gonna allow us to get a lot further away from the microphone and still get really nice sound. 
So again, this is also available at Guitar Center. Links are all down below, just like all the other equipment we've talked about today. We're gonna to be plugging that in via this cable right here, which is gonna be in channel number one. And I have that cable running all the way over here to my boom arm. We're gonna be plugging that in. Now remember, because this is an amplified microphone, there's an actual micro amplifier in there, we are gonna to wanna to end up with phantom power on. So this being my headphones right here, we're gonna be plugging that in, of course, right where it says headphones. So this way we can listen to the sound without having to pump it out through the speakers. We can listen through it through the headphones. We're gonna be all set. So when we're looking at turning things on, it's always important to start with the source because this is what's gonna feed a signal to the next piece and it's line. So the mixer is gonna feed the subwoofer and the subwoofer is gonna feed the main speakers. To prevent any noise, popping sounds or any surges from the actual unit, interfering with the next piece in line, always start at the beginning, which in this case is the mixer. Then we're gonna to go to the subwoofer and then finally end up at the speakers. So here we go. The actual mixer's on. Now we're gonna turn the power on, on the subwoofer. Now remember, we did turn down all those volumes. Now we're gonna get our main speakers on. This is a good way to turn things on. It's everything's on safely, everything's on. There's been no loud crashing, popping sounds. We are good to go. If you've got a PA system and you'd like to know how to hook up yours, or maybe you have a question about how your PA system is working, by all means, leave it in the comments down below. So at this point, our microphones are down, our mains are down, our speakers are turned down. We're just going to give it no more than 25% volume. 25% on the sub, 25% on the mains. We don't need a lot of volume at this point in time. We just need to turn on a little bit. This is gonna allow us to do some basic tests. I'm gonna bring up my main slightly, and then I'm gonna bring up my microphone. Now, microphones you're gonna try out over time and you're gonna feel exactly how much you need out of your mic. But I do know I'm gonna to need to bring this level up because it's the only mic I'm using. And now we have all of that set up ready to go. I'm gonna give this a little bit more volume and we are good. Now, why am I doing this at 25%? It's so this way I can practice, make sure everything's good, make sure everything is working well. And now that we have our microphone in the front of the whole system, you're hearing me through the PA system, not just through my lavalier. And there we are, that's ready to go. So is it any more complicated than that? No, this is really the most important thing to getting started. Start with your mixer, main out, into your subwoofer, from your subwoofer to your main speaker. So two 10 inch and a 12 is really comfortable for 40 to 50 people. I'm not gonna go over the top with this. That's a reasonable amount of people to enjoy this system. But the most important thing is, I hooked it up in a way so I can take advantage of the actual built-in crossover that's offered in this subwoofer, which I have personally set up at night because that's the way I like it. Outside of that, it's pretty much dead simple at this point. Once you're ready to use it in a live setting, you can start bringing up the volume levels to make sure you maximize the overall performance of the system. Remember that overall volume on the PA system. So the subwoofer gain controls, the volume on the back of the subwoofer versus the volume on the back of the speakers is basically this volume will not interfere with your speaker volume. The main output on your actual mixing board will be an accumulation of this plus this when it comes to how much preamp or how much total volume you're gonna get out of your speaker. Also remember, all the products that you're seeing in the video today are all gonna be linked down below for you. So if you're looking for anything from Harbinger or you're trying to figure out if these are the right products that maybe you might be interested in, by all means, we do have all the videos at the end as an additional playlist and we'll also have all the links down below for you. So at this point, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.